قال الذين كفروا لا تأتين الساعة قل بلى وربي لتأتينكم عالم الغيب لا يعزب عنه مثقال ذرة في السماوات ولا في الأرض ولا أصبر من ذلك ولا أكبر إلا في كتاب بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تمسك بسنته بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear beloved brothers and sisters I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless you all with knowledge with high iman and with health we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant us his mercy and forgiveness when we need it most may Allah Azza wa Jal allow this video and the videos that will come in, inshallah Jalla wa ala, to be of great benefit to those who listen and, to, and also to the one speaks my name is Zinaid Abu Nasser welcome to my home to my little study area to a corner of my library here uh, this is not a set um, rather this is as I said this is uh, my home subhanallah and of course you're here because you want to learn about Aqeedah al Wasitiyah Aqeedah al Wasitiyah Aqeedah al Wasitiyah subhanallah is a great work on Tawheed, is a great work on Aqaid, of course written by Shaykh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Now, Ibn Taymiyyah was a great scholar, a scholar who stood up amongst other scholars, and this is saying quite a lot because at the time of Ibn Taymiyyah, there were scholars who are mountains, regarded as mountains. Uh, at the time and today and amongst all of these scholars at the time stood up this one man who we know today as Ibn Taymiyyah now before we start speaking on Aqidatul uh, Wasitiyah and before we get into the subject matter at hand and Al-Aqidatul Wasitiyah in and of itself is not a majorly uh, large work but it is a work on Aqidah which many people have written uh, explanations of. Now, what that means is that there's many books out there and especially uh, when we say, when we deal with the English language, there is so many books out there named the same way so you'll find many many books and it'll say Aqeedah al by Shaykh al-Islam Ibn al-Taymiyyah however many of these books vary now these books vary for a variety of reasons sometimes these books vary because uh, the author uh, who's actually translating or borrowing from somebody else as it happens so in academia the author might be uh, getting uh, the information uh, correct, subhanAllah. And other times the author might get some of the information the wrong way. And so that it reaches that end user, but the actual work, or rather the original idea behind the work, does not get to us the right way. So subhanAllah, <clears throat> neither the end nor the means uh, uh, subhanallah good now there's also books out there with the title al wasitiyah by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and these books are written by enemies of Allah the enemies of Muslims the enemies of al-Islam and many times because of the stature because of the greatness of uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, orientalists translated a lot of his works. Matter of fact, if you go deeply into the archives, 
into the English language versions of the books of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, you'll find that the Orientalists were amongst the earliest of the people who translated his works into the English language because he stood out so much to them. Because even the enemies, even the non-Muslims, they could recognize the potential, they could see the greatness of this man that we call Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. Now, as to what follows, subhanAllah, any introduction, any work that we study, anything that comes our way as people of Ahl Sunnah, as people of Hadith, subhanAllah, as those who proudly uh, uh, claim to be upon the path of the Salaf al Salih, and this is what we claim, subhanAllah. If you're listening to this, if you're watching this, then this is your train of thought this is how you th uh, think and this is what you believe based upon evidences from the Quran and Sunnah now anything that we study must go back to Allah and his messenger but it also must go back and must be understood as only the first three generations understood it and those who followed them in righteousness up until today illa yawmu qiyamah and all the way to yawmu qiyamah and so every subject that's introduced every book that is introduced must go through a process of elimination we need to look at that work we need to look at that book and we need to be able to see this point is valid this point is invalid taking all subjectivity away from it and looking at the work objectively as true students of knowledge. Now, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, as I speak more about him, you will understand the gravity of this man. You will understand why he was known as Sheikh al-Islam, why his works written six, seven hundred years ago have been able to reach us today in a large volume. Now keep in mind, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah wrote books, wrote works that were bought by his enemies, that were bought by his competitors, subhanAllah. And that's uh, 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 one of the best terms that I can pick out of the English language. The people who were, who were his competitors, who were people who also claimed that their ijtihad, that their qiyas, that their methodology was the methodology of the Messenger of Allah. Keep in mind that every sect, every group in Al Islam claims that they are upon what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was upon. They all claim to love Abu Bakr and Omar and Uthman and Ali. They all claim to love Al Hassan Wal Hussein. Radiallahu anhum ajma'in. But there is only one correct path. There are many, many different paths out there. But there is only one path. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not say to us, pick any of these 70 paths or pick any of these 300 paths. They will all lead to paradise. He said, my path, his path, Alaihi his path. What is his path? It's the understanding and the concept and the implementation of that knowledge as it was done by the generations that followed him and those that came after him. Because he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, The best of the nations, the best of the people, are my people, my Sahaba, my companions, Ali Sallallahu said. And those who followed them, and then those who follow them. Now, every da'wah, every sahwah, 
to be successful has to be based upon this understanding. And this is why we study Sheikh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah's works today. Because he was the one who was, uh, who proudly stood up amongst the crowd, amongst the people who were propagating bid'ah and uh, shirk and kufr. And he proudly, bravely stood up and, says, and said this is batil because Allah said so and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said so. So this is highly important for all of us to understand. Whenever we approach a subject, whenever we approach a subject matter, the first thing we got to look at is who's presenting that subject matter to us. This is highly important. Is the person that's speaking qualified to speak on this subject? Now, when it comes to aqaid, aqidah, it's even more so important that we understand who is now relaying the information to us. Now, we don't know the sincerity or the genu uh, 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 whether that person is genuine, but what we do understand is we understand <coughs> what we can uh, derive, is we can de uh, understand that such and such person is qualified to speak on this matter. Now, as for qualification, subhanAllah, uh, my studies, of course, uh, started, for those that uh, do not know, they started in Qatar, uh, in Doha, uh, in, in, in their university there, subhanAllah, walillahi alhamd, I was able to uh, get my bachelor uh, in Islamic, uh, uh, Bachelor of Arts in Islamic Sciences, as they call it in the English language in the faculty of fiqh. Uh, and then from there, subhanAllah, I, I moved on uh, to another university which was located in, uh, in Saudi Arabia for my masters uh, in Bureyda, uh, in the Najd region. Uh, alhamd, subhanAllah, over the years, I've been blessed and Allah Azza wa Jal has really opened up the paths and the roads for me, subhanAllah. And I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant you all success in the dunya and the akhirah uh, and Allah Azza wa Jal opened up uh, certain individuals uh, and certain people that I was able to approach directly and take knowledge from uh, alhamd, especially when it comes to the Najdi Dawah to the Dawah of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab alhamd. from there subhanAllah uh, uh, and it was connected to my master's uh, uh, thesis and dissertation. I went on to do a PhD uh, on this very subject, or rather on this very person, on Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, and thus, subhanAllah, I was, um, I had, I, I invested quite a lot of time studying his life, studying the person, studying his works, obviously. Walillahi uh, alhamd. And uh, I think that my uh, understanding, that my uh, knowledge of the subject matter and of the author uh, is probably above average. Uh, uh, and hopefully, inshallah, as we progress through this, I'm able to shine uh, the light on some of the aspects and uh, on, on, on the, the life of Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah because we want to first introduce the Shaykh, subhanAllah. When, because, because when we study, as I said, we need to look at where the information is coming from, and then we need to look at who the information is being uh, re, uh, relied uh, on. So, subhanAllah, uh, as I said, uh, the information that I will bring to you, subhanAllah, will be information from various different sources. I will not be using a single work uh, on on the creed al al uh, nor will I be only using one uh, source or one person as the authority on this uh, on this book because I th feel and I'm confident that if we bring a variety of different uh, sources and we look at the actual meaning of the points as we go through the creed uh, 
will understand that uh, we're able to reconcile some of the different opinions. However, saying that, as we go through the creed, as we go through the book on Aqidah, we'll also come to points where we'll realize maybe our own understanding wasn't correct. And we'll also come to points where we'll realize, subhanAllah, that which was taught to us was not correct. So subhanAllah, as we study, any time we open our hearts up to knowledge, subhanAllah, any time we open our hearts up to knowledge, we have to be ready to submit to that knowledge. Because if that knowledge is Allah said, His Messenger said, the Sahaba agreed upon it, then we must submit ourselves to it. And this is the essence of Islam. This is the essence, the, the meaning behind Islam is submission. Not what these people tell you on TV, not what these other celebrities tell you. Islam is al-istislam lillahi bit-tawheed. Is submission to Allah through Tawheed. This is Islam in its essence. Once knowledge comes to us, once we realize that we've erred, we made an error in the way we understood Islam, in the way we understood Tawheed, we change it there and then. And if we're able to do this, and if we're able not to have kibr and to accept the truth as the truth and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to allow us to recognize the truth so that we may accept it and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to allow us to recognize the batil, the bid'ah, the kufr, the shirk, the masiyah, the sins for what they are so that we may reject it and abstain from it. Allahumma amin. This first video, subhanAllah, as I said, I wanted to introduce myself. I wanted you to know and understand that uh, this is uh, done for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. Nobody is uh, making any money from this. Uh, me personally, subhanAllah, walillahi alhamd, Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed me enough that I am not a person who lives off this I am, do not make money uh, giving da'wah or doing khutab or doing lessons. Uh, I am an imam here in Australia. I am a head of a uh, jama'ah here uh, in Queensland. SubhanAllah, for those that don't uh, know Australia well, uh, I'm located in Queensland. Uh, you, this is my house, as I said, this is not a set. And I welcome you to this momentous occasion to this great uh, work that we will all bi'idhnillahi azza wa jal benefit from greatly and we will be able to discern the right from the wrong by the end of it. May Allah azza wa jal bless you all with long lives full of good deeds. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina wa habibina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa salamu alaykum. ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وله الحمد في الآخرة وهو الحكيم الخبير